Hello, I'm Ren, and today we're going to be learning about puppets. No, <laughs> I'm Ren, all right? Anyway, when you think about puppets, you probably picture something like this. Or this guy. Or these guys. But there's actually a whole lot more to the world of puppetry than you think. Puppets are one of our most ancient forms of entertainment. In fact, they've been found in Egyptian tombs that date back as far as 2000 BCE, meaning puppets have been around for at least 4,000 years. It's believed they started as ancient ritualistic dolls, created in the image of humans or gods. Now, puppets come in all shapes and sizes, like these impressive creations from South Africa's Handspring Puppet Company. So your puppets are a little bit different to these ones? Yes, uh, I started with this, which is sock puppet, Muppet puppet. But while Super Kanzi started with sock puppets like Sock Ren, she is now part of a team which operates puppets much bigger and more complex, like Nana. Nana is part of a tribe of elephant puppets and has been made to match the size of a real elephant. She has many moving parts. <laughs> But somehow, she manages to move as one, and that's the work of these skilled puppeteers who can communicate without words to their audiences and to one another. Listening to each other yes. without being able to talk. Yes, it's without. A special we, skill. We don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you sort of become one with that. We became, we became one because there's a powerful thing, which is we breathe as one. The breathing is one. It can be four of us or three of us inside, but then the minute we breathe, we breathe as one. And that's their secret to making Nana come to life. And while Nana's main purpose is to entertain, Handspring also uses puppets to educate people and inspire change. And that's little Amal's job. She's a not-so-little puppet based on a real-life 10-year-old Syrian refugee who travels the world looking for her mother. The real Amal was trying to flee the Syrian war, and when adults found her... She had stopped speaking, and she was completely alone. And the question was, how did she get all the way from Syria to Calais, which is the western side of Europe? Handspring was asked to build a large version of her, and now little Amal is spreading a big message about human rights and the plight of refugees. But I think the beautiful thing about puppets is that they you know, as an audience, we see them as a puppet, um, but we also imagine them to be alive and to be real. Puppets can tell the difficult stories, the funny ones, the beautiful ones. <laughs> Don't get a big head though, all right. Did you guys just watch the elephants? Yes. yes. They were so big. I don't know how they got it that big. It was cool how they were moving the trunk up and down and making the sound elephants make. It was really cool how they were like moving the legs and the trunk with a few levers. It was really cool. Even though there was no words, it was still really like well told and quite interesting to watch. I liked seeing the baby elephant because everyone really connected with it. Do you think I'm a good puppet? Yes, I like your eyes. Yeah, and, and your nose is really out there. You know what? I think I want to be a puppeteer. Oh yeah? Okay. Uh, what does your puppet look like? Well, it actually looks just like you. 